Hey guys, it's Guides here, and I'm so happy because I got a new Bonicle. Ah! Okay, um, if you don't know that I am a huge Bonicle fan, and um, well, I was. I didn't really um keep up with it in the later years, and when I found out it was ending, I just kind of like forgot about it. But I still have all my old Bonicles, and then. It was coming, and then I heard it was coming out this year, and I did a video about it actually. And then I was so excited, and so today, um, yesterday, I actually saw that these were in stores, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, I need to get one!" So today, I actually bought one, and I also got another one. Yeah, so I bought two. I bought um, Pahatu and Kopaka, Masters of Stone and Ice, and um, I always love Pahatu. He's like my favorite, so I just had to get Pahatu. In fact, I have the the old uh, Mata Pat uh, Pahati right here. If you could just stand up. I can't get this up with one hand, but here it is, and his mask fell off. Great. I'll show that later anyway. But, um, yeah, I'm so excited. This is going to be like sort of like a review slash opening slash unboxing. I don't really know, but um, I'm just going to do Pahatu and maybe do Klopaka on another video. Uh, or maybe I'll do both, I don't know, but yeah, I'm so happy Bonicle's back, even though it looks way different, and it uses like the new Hero Factory sets, and here's the back of the box, I'll just set it up like that, um, yeah, it uses like the new Hero Factory parts and stuff, but I still think it's gonna be good, and um, yeah, I know this is not a Cousins video, in fact, I had a cousin to show you guys, but you know, this is my childhood right here, like, childhood first, then customs, alright, you gotta, you just gotta, you know, balance it out. Alright, so now I'm gonna unbox him. Alright, so I got the box. And I'm just gonna open it right now. Alright. First up, I need scissors. I could use these big scissors, but you know... Actually, I need these big ones. Screw the little ones. Alright, oh. Huh. Anyway, let's cut this open. You know, I'm so stupid guys, I was trying to use these scissors and I have a knife, so I'm just going to use this for this piece of tape. should have used it in the first place. This knife is kind of dull, but there we go. Alright, oh, I'm so excited. Childhood. Alright, let's just open it. Oh no, I ripped it. Crap, alright. Try not to rip it at all. Alright, here we go. Let's just get this out of the way. Here we are. So all the parts are just scattered in this huge bag, and the body fell out. The base body. And there's still more inside. Oh, there's actually uh, another bag. I was about to say, usually there's two bags. One with the big parts and one with the small parts. I'm just letting you know, guys, I haven't gotten a Lego- I haven't, like, bought an actual Lego set in, like, years. So this just feels so nostalgic. Even though I make Lego customs, I just buy the parts specifically that I need off the internet. But um, yeah, here's the little instructions booklet, and there's a comic with the Protector of Stone. And this is also the same comic on the back, except for with one added picture. Except for with one added picture, I don't think that made any sense. Grammarly. Grammarly? Wow. Alright, anyway, put the box away, and now I'm just gonna lay out all the parts for you guys. Alright, I have most of the parts laid out neatly, and um, I saw the uh, the Three Virtues, uh, it's an awesome YouTube channel, which is about Bionicle, like everything Bionicle, I love their channel so much, and they did a recent review with the Protector of Stone, and he said that these translucent pieces, they, they look yellow on camera, but in real life they're actually sort of greenish, and I see them in, with my own eyes, and yeah, they actually do look green. But in the video, they will look yellow. Like, I'm looking at the camera footage, and I'm looking at my um, the, my hand and the actual piece in my hand. And it looks green in my hands, but it looks yellow on the camera. So that's kind of interesting, I guess. So we got all these cool new pieces, and like these pieces, which look like the Toa Mata parts. And um, I'm just saying this from the Three Virtues. I love them so much. Anyway, um, this is a actually a piece of a Rashi staff. Um, which is a classic, you know, Bionicle piece from like 2003. We got like the new weapons and 
the skull spider mask and the golden masks right here uh actually this one's not golden they're you know whatever i don't know why i said masks but anyway i'm gonna start building this right now and i'm just gonna speed through all of this building right now who needs instructions but you know i'm just gonna do the instructions anyway all right let's go There we go. And now I'm just looking at the body. And this is getting too tall for the top of my camera view. Oh gosh. Wow. Alright. When I do Kopaka, I'm gonna have to zoom out really, really far out. Alright. Zoom out more. He has little kneecaps. I like it. Very nice, very nice. Alright, so now we're getting into the gearbox, uh, which is so awesome. I forgot to mention that they brought back the classic um, function with the old Bionicle sets where um, they would have a gear in the back of them and that would cause them to do a certain action. Alright, so here I have my old Pohatu, the like uh, classic first form of Pohatu, and his hands are all weird. And you can see, like, with all the old original Bionicle sets, they had a gear in the back. And this gear would cause him to kick. Like, see, I can just, like, kick as soon as I just hold it. Like, here, I'll just hold it up here. And I would turn this gear, and it causes his leg to move. And, um, Patu was the only one that had his leg move. All the other Toa had their arms move. They would have this body piece flipped around, and the head would be right here. And then the arm would move when you, uh, twist this gear in the back. So I'm so glad they brought that back. That was a really cool feature from the original Bionicle sets. Oh, the struggle, all right. There we go. So we have the gearbox completed with his uh, dagger on the back for like, you know, his backup weapon. And um, yeah, I had like some trouble putting the uh, gear parts on a little bit. I don't know, I guess I'm like shaking a little bit, I don't know. I'm just like really excited, that's why. Uh, you know you're a nerd when you're like in high school, you're a teenager, and you buy old, well not old, but you know, toys. Even though Bonacle and Lego is awesome, so I don't think there should be an age limit. Alright, now real quick, I just wanted to say how it's kind of interesting how the arms for him connect like this. And I think this is just for Pahatu, uh, instead of like, as you can see on the back of the legs, where it's sort of like this blocking joint in the back where it can only move like this and it can't move side to side so i just thought that was slightly interesting and um they have like the two ball joints like right here and right here so it, it does get kind of confusing i almost put it right here but it's supposed to go on the back ones like this it's kind of confusing how they did it like that Now this is kind of weird because I had to leave real quick and come back later in the day to finish this. But um, now we're going to finish up the rest of the Pahatu build. Alright, there you go, but gosh, this camera's a nightmare. But yeah, this set's so awesome. Ah, the new Bionicle is so amazing. 
And uh, now I can uh, twist the gears so I can hit the boomerangs. Just be like, oh, I don't even, I don't even know. This is my childhood. I was talking about my childhood and my inner childhood is just coming out right now. And the mask looks so awesome. Uh, I'm not sure if they said that they still have mask powers or not. Like, does he still have his mask of speed? I mean, please tell me that they they still do that. Cause I actually don't know. I don't remember hearing of anything. I just dropped the mask. But um, here you have his golden mask, and we can take off this mask and put on the golden one. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. Looks really awesome. And uh, we can put him into his uh, I think it's called adrenaline mode, where all you have to do. And uh, every Toa has like a second, secondary like mode that they can go in, where um, their weapons change. So basically, all you have to do for Prahatsu is take off the boomerangs and put them on his feet like this. Actually, they're called stormerangs. I think that's the canon name for it, stormerangs. I like how they like bend up and they can clamp like that. That's really cool. But um. You put both the storm rings on like this, and he can fly around and stuff, which is actually kind of interesting considering he's like the toe of stone and he's like flying around on like sand tornadoes. But I think that's pretty amazing. It's pretty awesome. And then you can take off his dagger like that, and then you just put it in his actual hand like this. And then ta da! You have Pohatu. Master of Stone, his will be solid rock, and I don't know, I can't quote the rest of that video. But yeah, I love Monocle so much, and now let's compare him to the old version of him. And um, it's a lot of differences, in fact, I don't even think they use the same colors anymore besides the um, black. But yeah, so cool. And uh, you can even put the Skull Spiders... Uh, I don't think these can stand. Can you stand when you have these boomerang feet thing? Yeah, you can. Alright, so you can take the skull spider, and one of the legs just went flying off. Oops. But um, you can take the uh, skull spider, and just stick it on the face like this. Yeah, that's awesome. I heard you're supposed to like put the legs around or something, but that seems really hard. Like... Like this, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's gonna fit, but um... And now he just fell over. Yeah, skull spiders, they attack from the people's heads and then they have to like... You know, get them off. Sort of like the, uh, those Borok masks. And, um, the original... The original masks in the beginning of Bionicle were the Rahi masks. They had the, like, the infected ones. And the toe had to get rid of them. Yeah. Oh, all these memories. Bonacle. Alright, so now I'm just gonna set him back up to how he normally was. And so, yeah, guys. This is it. My sort of crappy Bonacle review, I guess. Um, I think this set's amazing. And I think all the sets are gonna be really awesome. And I wanna try to collect them all, actually. I don't think I've ever fully collected a entire wave of Bonacle sets. Um, I would always get really close, but I would, like, always miss one or two, and then I would never actually end up buying all of them, but, um, I think I actually, uh, um, I think I got all the Glatorian stars, or not Glatorian stars, um, the second wave of Glatorians, or whatever they're called, but, um, I think I got all of those, but I'm not sure anymore, but yeah, guys, this is guys signing out and uh, I will do Kopaka later because why not and um customs will be up soon I guess you know I'm still doing customs I just wanted to do this because you know like I said this is my childhood right here actually I forgot to see my final thoughts of this set and um I mean this is supposed to be like a review sort of thing I guess but yeah with these new bonicles I love this gearbox function I love it so much it makes it so much more um, enjoyable with the toy when you can actually like do something cool with it 
and um, I like the new gearbox function. I like this set a lot. I like how it looks. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. See you later. Bye.